My three tour mocks are the best three employees I've ever had. They're always here waiting to work and you know, they do exactly what I tell them to do, even if it's wrong. So <laughs> <laughs> I purchased the first Tormach 1100M in February of 2019, I believe it was, and bought it to get away from doing one part at a time in the manual mill. I also have a, a product line that I sell for corn and pellet stove replacement parts. We were doing them one at a time in a little fixture block on the manual mill, cranking the handles and looking for something to just basically replace that operation. And that's when I started looking at the Tormach. And from there, I bought the Tormach. Made, the first thing I did was make a fixture to hold 12 parts at a time. And now I can do a whole year's worth in about a day, day and a half. So that kind of opened up, wow, what else can I do with this machine? And then once my customers found out that I had CNC capability, you know, now I have two CNC Tormach mills and they're busy pretty much whenever I'm working in the shop. For the most part, they're both doing something. I was surfing machine dealers one day and I came across the PCNC 1100. And so I made an offer on it. Well, they took it. And for 3,500 bucks delivered to my door, I couldn't go wrong. It still had Mach, Mach 3 on it or something. And I bought it as a project just to something to fill my day in or something different. And I thought it's gonna be a good learning project. I'm gonna be able to learn the guts of these mills inside and out worked with, with Matt at Technical Support, and I put new axis drive motors on it, um, upgraded it to Path Pilot, basically brought it up to a, a Series 3, and it worked flawlessly, still working flawlessly. Did you have it here? No, I sold it. I sold it to a friend of mine. So that's how confident I am with Tormach. I sold the Tormach to a friend of mine. Is he yeah. still your friend? He is still my friend, and later today, I'm sure I will be seeing him again. I see him at least once a week. So, um, yeah, yeah, he loves it. He's excited. He got a good deal on it, and uh, I got a heck of a deal on it. <laughs> and, uh, and then I was able to take that money and roll it into the, the machine behind me. The part you saw on my Facebook account was a, uh, a transition pipe that went from two vibratory uh, sifters. On that, I did use uh, a Tormach machine, the first one, to make the, the flanges. I think they were like a 12 inch diameter flange, which is challenging with 11 inches of travel. So it was a couple different setups to make the rings. I only had to make three rings, so I just rather do them here while I was working on other stuff rather than have it sent out to a, a vendor. The CNC machines have just really allowed me to keep everything in house, which means keeping more money in my pocket too. And I just I, I enjoy the whole process, you know, beginning to end. And the Tormach machines now, you know, it allows me to really design, engineer, all the way through the production and final assembly and delivery. I get to do every aspect of it. And, and I really like that. And like I said, most everything I do is, is one, one off or very, very low production run. So what are you cutting over here? This, this machine's cutting 304 stainless steel. Uh, do you have any issues cutting stainless? I don't have any issues. You, you work within the constraints of the machine. Stainless, you can't push it anyway. The last thing you want to do is work hard in it because then you aren't cutting it. Um, but yeah, if I had more horsepower, I could possibly take a deeper cut. I don't, my experience is what I'm doing, I'd probably be doing this pretty much the same thing, maybe a higher RPM, maybe a little more travel speed with a more rigid machine, but I gotta make eight parts. And speed here isn't an issue, because once these eight parts are done, nobody should really ever have to make these again. And for my customer, they just want them right. You know, time doesn't really matter in the machine on this particular part. There's always something in stainless steel that this mill's running. Um, from 
September through mid-October, November, making some of the parts that I initially bought it for, which are stainless, which now takes us a day and a half to do, but I also then have made other parts uh, out of stainless that this pretty much runs for a good month and a half to two months just cutting on like 14 gauge stainless steel. We cut both profiles and pieces out um, with it. You know, a ton of holes in stainless with it. It's, yeah, it's just been amazing. Uh, you'll laugh when I tell you what the CAD is. It's, it's a $50 CAD program that I draw everything in 2D. And then my CAM program is called Easy Cam. And it's very easy to learn. It's, it's intuitive. It's as easy as programming conversationally in the Tormach. It, it basically asks you questions and I can take a 2D drawing and make a bowl with it. I, the 8L lathe I have, that I do conversationally, and it's extremely easy. It's extremely easy. I, a friend of mine stopped over last night. We had to do some British standard pipe threads, 1 16th British standard pipe threads. I had never programmed a taper with it before. He was just blown away that, and you can put whatever thread pitch you want. You just type the number in, and yeah. It, you know. So the, the lathe I do conversationally, because it's fairly quick, it's easy, but the mills, I just, I like my cam, I like my cam, so I just stay with that. But what led me to choose Tormach is, is there's several different reasons. One, I, I was looking for something that um, I could move around with my forklift that I didn't need a rigger for, you know, so I started looking more, you know, in the small CNC stuff, looked in the used market. I've been down that road in a previous business. And I know how difficult it is to get replacement boards and, you know, hardware component trees on the electrical side of it. And it's extremely costly. And, you know, looking at the used market, I just wasn't happy with what I was seeing and started looking at the Tormox. For me, it's about building relationships. And when I went to Tormox office to, to actually view the machines and see them work and ask questions, it just, it just felt like people I wanted to do business with. You know, the, the personality of everyone I met there, it just matched with me and, and uh, so there's that reason. I didn't want to have to put in more power to run a machine, you know, 220, 20 amp, single phase, it's awesome. And then once I got learning about the Path Pilot, because that was a whole new control for me, I, I was just blown away by the simplicity of the path pilot and how easy it is to pull a file, pick up a line of G code and start from there. Just easy. You know, I, I, if you can click a mouse, you can program a Tormach, it seems like. I haven't ran into any limitations on it. I've, I've been thoroughly impressed with, with it. I've got a program in, I call the number one mill now, the first one. It's like a thousand minutes long according to my cam program that I use and it might take five seconds to load that program <laughs> and it's all there <laughs> and, and you can rotate it around it's it's just amazing you know uh, it's it's awesome I, I I I get tired of people bashing them really? I do I get tired of people oh you need to buy a Haas you need to buy this well if I need to buy a Haas I don't need to buy a Haas. I don't need to have a crane down here to unload the dumb thing and have some hire somebody to get it in here. I don't want to have to trench new wire down to the shop and put three phase in. Well, I have a three phase converter I guess I could run it on. Two slow spindles are faster than one fast spindle. Even if I had a real fast machine, I wouldn't be running it fast because it takes me three or four parts to get everything dialed in. So, for what I do, yeah, if I was going to sit here and chuck parts at, like I did in the previous business, yeah, this wouldn't be the machine I would go to. But I don't want to do that. So, I love the machines. I worked with other machines and had to deal with other machine tool builders. And you're just a number, if you're lucky. And you never get to talk to the same person twice. 
I and I, I was just really turned off. I I pretty much every morning can't wait to come down to the shop and you know the goal is always to see how many machines I can get running and do a little welding on the side. So <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's fun. I, I have the, an accurate number. I don't know. It's somewhere between five and ten. Uh, very very good customers um, that I've been blessed to be able to build those relationships and and I, I, I look at Tormach that way too because everyone that I've met with Tormach I, I've just it, it just fits it just it fits with my personality it fits with what I do it feels more like a, a family it feels more like part of an extension of my business what gets me excited every day to come down to my shop <laughs> just doing what I do, just working with my customers, building and continue to build those relationships and, and um, just, just the ability to, at the end of the day, sit back and, and physically see something that I built that came out of my, mine and my customers' collaboration together, you know, to create something that wasn't there before, that, that never existed. So that's, that's what I enjoy.